If you asked me a week ago to list the 15 biggest birds in the world, I'd have said big bird and then gone blank. But here I am, one week later, armed with all the details of the largest birds in our beautiful natural world. Get your wings ready because we're flying high today. From the largest bird of prey in the rainforest to the Earth's craziest creature, here are the 15 biggest birds in the world. <sighs> Number 15. Harpy Eagle Honestly, we could probably have picked any eagle to kickstart our list, but the harpy eagle is a perfect fit. This species is the largest and most powerful bird of prey found in the world's rainforests and is one of the biggest eagles on the planet. It's a little frightening, honestly. The wingspan of the harpy eagle can reach up to 7 feet, larger than the average human. Usually, the harpy lives in tropical lowland forests worldwide, but due to the destruction of their natural habitat, they're finding themselves faced with something of a crisis. While they are an endangered species, they're still among the most powerful birds in the world. Reports have claimed that harpies have used their talons to grab and snatch monkeys and sloths weighing up to 17 pounds. So it's probably good that parents in South America don't take their babies for walks in the rainforest. You know, no eagle should ever be underestimated, but with a 7-foot wingspan, that's especially true for the harpy. Generally speaking, you don't want to mess with a bird as wide as a professional basketball player. They'll slam dunk ya, and not in an NBA-approved way. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Number 14. Ostrich some people believe that ostriches are among the most dangerous and crazy birds in the world. Others haven't met them. The ostrich is actually the world's largest bird, and it uses that fact to its advantage. It's kind of like the Roadrunner from the cartoons, but bigger. On average, the ostrich weighs around 230 pounds and stands 7 feet tall, though some have been known to grow to 9 feet. And despite being such a big animal, they have another achievement, the world's fastest runner. Yeah, the ostrich is actually the fastest runner of any bird or two-legged animal, reaching speeds of up to 43 miles per hour. I'd like to see Wile E. Coyote try and take this guy down. When it feels threatened, its kick can kill a human or predator. That guy can buy all the Acme products he wants. He's toast. The ostrich has long been known as the world's largest bird, but very few people know it's also the fastest. I guess it just happened to speed by so fast, the wildlife experts never noticed it. Maybe they had Acme brand cameras. Number 13. Dalmatian Pelican Pelicans are beautiful animals, except when they're kinda terrifying. The Dalmatian pelican is one of those kinda terrifying species of pelican, and all because it's just so damn huge. I mean, really? How big does a bird have to be? The Dalmatian pelican is, on average, around 6 feet tall, weighs 33 pounds, and has a wingspan of approximately 9 feet. Yeah, I told ya. This thing is a beast, but thankfully it's not something most people would encounter in the wild. The Dalmatian is native to Europe and Asia, and tends to live in wet places like swamps or shallow lakes. If you do happen to find one, however, you'll likely find a lot of them. The Dalmatian pelican breeds in colonies of up to 250 pairs, which means means, uh, well, that's a lot of terrifyingly big birds. The Dalmatian pelican is the largest member of the pelican family and the heaviest flying bird on average. And yeah, in theory, you could wake up to see a 9-foot bird gliding through the sky. And no, you would not be hallucinating. The world is in serious trouble. Number 12. Cenarius Vulture 
while it would be awesome to find a bird that loved movies, I can't verify that the Cenarius vulture has any interest in cinema whatsoever. However, I can confirm that it's unthinkably large and has a love for dead things, so film school kids, is that accurate? The Cenarius vulture is not a small animal by any stretch of the imagination. While it may only measure around 3 to 4 feet in length, it has a wingspan between 8 to 9 and a half feet. One of the largest wingspans in any bird community. And it's a big community. The Cenarius vulture is a terrifying bird, but it plays an important role in our planet's ecosystem, cleaning up roadkill and other dead animals that it happens to spot. It's a gross hobby, but I guess it saves Pete, the highway maintenance guy, a job. The Cenarius vulture is an intimidating and fearsome animal, and can often be found congregating in groups around an animal carcass. I guess that's the vulture version of a water cooler. Wonder what they talk about while they're eating. Number 11. Shoebill. I know we shouldn't pick favorites, but the shoebill is one of our favorite birds for one reason. It looks like a dang muppet. They're also an impressively large animal, and that means terrifying. Seriously, it's surprisingly freaky for a muppet. The shoebill tends to reach a height of approximately 5 feet tall on average with an 8-foot wingspan that can be pretty terrifying if you're not prepared for it. And don't worry, you'll know when you see a shoebill. They're very different to, uh, well, any other bird on Earth. Shoebills also have a unique tendency that sees them standing motionless for hours, with that huge bill held down against its neck. If you happen to make eye contact, you'll be convinced that this frightening-looking Muppet is about to murder ya. And honestly, I don't think any Anybody really wants to find out. Being murdered by a Muppet is a hell of a way to go. The Shoebill is one of the most unique birds on the planet, both adorable and terrifying at the same time. It's like if Sam the Eagle was made real, but also edited to be really threatening. What a wonderful bird! Number 10. Domestic Turkey Yep, that big old bird on your holiday table is one of the biggest in the world. Well, maybe not that specific bird, but the species? Sure. The turkey is native to North America, and it's one of the largest non-flying birds in the world. Both wild and domestic turkeys are actually the same species, but the difference that separates them is a big one. The domestic turkey can't fly. That's why the domestic turkey breast meat is white and the wild breast meat is dark those that can't fly don't use their breast muscle. Domestic turkeys are capable of growing up to 4.2 feet tall and over 85 pounds. That's a big bird! And you probably have no idea that turkeys have been known to attack humans, cars, and even their own reflections just to impress their females. Makes the human approach seem kinda lazy, right? The domestic turkey is a big bird, and even though it's not capable of flight, it's soaring right into our list. Yeah. See what I did there? Yeah, I know it's not great, but you gotta expect a turkey or two. Better, better. Number 9. Cassowary Not only is the cassowary one of the biggest birds on the planet, but it's also well known as one of the most dangerous. Weighing around 150 pounds, and with 5-inch claws on both feet, I don't think I have to do too much explanation on why that's the case. The cassowary is actually the third largest bird in the world. behind the ostrich and the emu. While some have described them as gigantic, prehistoric turkeys, they're actually the modern-day descendants of dinosaurs, which surely explains why they're so notorious for their deadly nature. There have been at least two incidents in which people have been kicked to death by cassowaries. You don't want to mess with those claws, man. A couple brutal kicks and your internal organs will completely collapse, which is a situation that absolutely nobody wants to experience for and, like many of the biggest birds on the planet, cassowaries cannot fly away from a fight. If they feel threatened or backed into a corner, they use their claws to take down whatever creature is making them feel so uncomfortable. Bad luck for that being. Number 8. Maribo Stork 
What if Dracula was a bird? It's a good question. I'm glad I asked it. Well, it would probably look a little bit like the Maribo Stork, also known as the Undertaker Bird. This terrifying looking thing is one of the biggest birds, and it's also a straight up cannibal. <laughs> Yikes. The Maribo stands at just under 5 feet tall and weighs up to 20 pounds. But it's the bird's appearance that is most frightening of all. With that red-tinged waddle, the dagger-esque bill, and the dark black back, the idea of encountering one of these things is pretty terrifying, especially since they eat everything from fish to frogs to baby crocodiles to other birds. I told you, it's pretty horrifying to even think about stumbling upon one of these things in a dark forest. But let's make it even more frightening. The largest verified wingspan of a marabo was 10.5 feet wide. Say it with me now. Absolutely not. The Marabo is easily one of the most frightening birds in the world, let alone one of the biggest. A 10-foot wingspan for a cannibal bird? No thank you. Number 7. Great Aunt Cory Bustards Okay, I really need to concentrate right now. I cannot mispronounce these names. The Great Bustard and the Cory Bustard are likely the heaviest flying animals in the world, weighing around 40 pounds. I don't know how physics works, but that's impressive. The Great Bustard is native to Europe and Asia, while the Cory Bustard is native to Africa, but both of them are pretty huge. Both the Great and Cory Bustard have a wingspan of anywhere between 7 and 9 feet and can weigh between 13 and 40 pounds. Their height? Anywhere between 2.5 feet to 4 feet tall. These are big birds and not the fun Sesame Street variety. I have absolutely no idea if they can sing, dance, or ride a bike, but my guess is that, yes, they can. The Great Ant Cory Bustards are beautiful, fascinating animals, not just because they can somehow fly despite their hulking weight. These animals are just incredible to witness and celebrate. And I, for one, am just glad I did not get this video flagged. It was close, but I think we pulled it off, guys. Number 6. Emu We've already established that the ostrich is the largest bird on the planet, but now it's time to meet the runner-up, the emu. And not only is it one of the biggest birds on Earth, but it's also a licensed insurance provider if you live in the United States. There's a joke that won't travel. The emu is the second largest bird on Earth, typically standing between 5 and 6 feet tall. It's basically a slightly smaller, slightly more unkept ostrich. However, it still counts as its own animal, so don't even try to pick flaws there. The emu can be found all over Australia, and while they can't fly, they're instantly recognizable, and perhaps more notably, they're unimaginably fast. The emu has been recorded as hitting speeds of up to 31 miles per hour, and and is more than capable of running great distances. If you got an emu and an ostrich together, they could easily run several marathons. Emus are the nomads of the bird community. They don't like to hang around one place too long. They always have to be moving, exploring new places. And given their size, that takes a lot of energy. Number 5. Andine Condor before this video, I had no idea that vultures could be picky eaters, but apparently they can. The Andean condor is a frighteningly large vulture that has particular tastes. It's the kind of animal that would send back a meal because the carrot was placed in a slightly uneven way that kind of difficult. On average, the Andean condor weighs anywhere from 25 to 33 pounds, and has a wingspan of up to 10 and a half feet, twice the height of your average human woman. This is one of the largest flying birds in the world, and due to their size, they prefer to fly in windy areas that give them a little boost. And believe me, they fly a lot. In a single day, these condors have been known to fly over 180 miles in search of a meal. Speaking of, I never 
explained why they were so picky. While most vultures are more than happy to feast on just about any carcass they can find, the Andean condor is a little more particular. It prefers to eat large carcasses like cattle or deer. Anything else just isn't good enough. It'll eat it, but it's not good enough. Oh no, am I an Andean condor? Maybe my life is a lie. Number 4. King Penguin now we come to another one of our giant flightless birds, the king penguin himself. The king penguin actually weighs around the same as another big bird on our list, the giant bustard. But in the world of penguins, this is the second largest species of all. And as we've established, second best is good enough for us. The king penguin stands anywhere from 2.3 to 3.25 feet tall and weighs between 21 and 40 pounds on average. In human terms, that's pretty light. But we're talking about non-flying birds here. Cut me some slack. The king penguins primarily eat fish, squid, and some crustaceans, so I guess we don't have much to be afraid of unless you're scared of getting bitten. And there are plenty of opportunities to be bitten. When these beautiful animals come to shore during mating season, they form huge colonies, some of which can have over 200,000 penguins in one location. It's like Comic-Con, but for penguins and, you know, reproduction. As the second largest breed of penguin in the world, the king penguin has more than earned its place on our list. Put a Morgan Freeman voiceover in the clip, and you have the makings of an Oscar-winning movie. That's just the sign of a truly big bird. Number 3. Greater Rhea Maybe you don't know your Greek mythology, but the Rhea was the titan goddess who gave birth to all the gods and goddesses of Greek mythology. Yeah, she was uh, quite a woman. In honor of Rhea, somebody chose to name an animal after her. And that animal was a flightless bird. I don't know what it means either. The greater Rhea stands up to 5 feet tall and up to 66 pounds, which is significantly larger than some other birds on our list, but they're even more powerful thanks to the simple fact that they gather in massive flocks during non-breeding seasons. Up to 100 birds can group up in a single location, making these ostrich-looking creatures even more intimidating to an outsider. It's like turning up to a Halloween party in a Christmas sweater. You know you look like a moron, but you kind of have to play along. Rias are the largest bird in South America, and I don't think anybody will dispute that fact. They're omnivorous, and they like to always be moving as they eat. If they had an office, they'd be one of those people with a treadmill desk. That much is certain. Number 2. Meet Swan Look, mute swans are beautiful animals, I know that, and I can admit that. I just think we need to acknowledge that they're also incredibly, violently mean, and unpleasant to just about everybody for no good reason. We need to expose them for what they truly are, you know? The mute swan is a species of swan native to Europe, Asia, and parts of Africa. At four to five and a half feet long, the animal is known mostly for its graceful and elegant appearance. when it's not randomly attacking kayakers, canoeists, or just people wandering the park in the middle of the day, that is. These seemingly adorable animals are one of the heaviest flying birds in the world, which really just makes them even more dangerous and cruel to anybody trying to mind their own business. If it decides you shouldn't be there, you should expect to be chased. They love chasing. Again, I can acknowledge that the mute swan is a beautiful and elegant animal, but they're large and they're mean. And I think we should admit that I ain't afraid of no swan. Number 1. Wandering Albatross what is the most giant bird in the world? It's hard to know for sure, but I can confidently tell you all about the bird with the world's widest wingspan, the wandering albatross. And the most incredible thing is you've likely never seen it in person. Unless you happen to live at sea, that is. The wandering albatross makes its home out on the water, returning to land once every two years for breeding purposes. But these legendary birds are known mostly for their unparalleled wingspan, a whopping 11 foot wide. And boy, do they know how to use those wings. 
the Albatross can fly up to 600 miles in a single day. Air miles which rack up to approximately 18 completed round trips to the moon during their whole lifetimes. Human astronauts are lucky to do that once. Unfortunately, the effects of climate change and overfishing have damaged the wandering albatross, leading to it being considered a vulnerable animal. Still flying at a speed of 24.8 miles per hour and feasting on the animals in the sea, you can bet they're truly incredible animals to behold in person. When they're not traveling to space, I mean. Have you seen any of these big birds in person? Or do you know a big bird we never mentioned? Let us know in the comments. Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on screen right now. See you next time!